I'm back. All sewed. Sewing. Oh, whatever. Anyway, it is all zigzagged up. I hope. And now we are going to fold the insides in. But before I do that, I want to uh, Mod Podge the inside of this to hold all those threads in place. So just to secure it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing with my paintbrush here. Well, my Mod Podge brush. And that is just going to secure those threads down and make it a bit uh, stronger. But I won't have to worry so much about them coming loose. I backstitched them mostly. I mean there was some I didn't but mostly I, I did put the back stitch on them. So this is the cover for the October or the autumn journal I should say. And uh, I think I think it's going to be neat. I've never done one before. This is the first time. Uh, and uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's the first time I've made one like this. It's the first time I've used a large um, manila envelope to make a book cover. It's the first all the way around. Yes, it is. Not the first time I've used my machine, although it looks like it. <laughs> it was hard sewing around all those, those little areas. If I'd have just left large areas and not stuck all those beautiful little squares on there, I'd have been better. But I think it looks neat, and I think getting the Mod Podge in here will really help. I'll feel a lot better about, you know, going to the work to do it, knowing that at least the threads are going to, going to stay in. Okay, so I am going to squish a little Mod Podge in around these edges, like where this um, envelope is still coming up. And go ahead and get that secured down. I should have probably glued that whole thing down, but, you know, having not made one before, <laughs> I really didn't know what it was going to do, to be honest with you. Okay, so now we need to fold these edges up, and I'm going to use regular, um, whoops. I'm going to use the regular glue on that. Uh, towel, towel, towel. Right over there, there, there. Um, when I say regular glue, I mean, of course, art glitter glue, because I, I really do love it. It works really well. Okay, I'm going to fold these in because they're all really crooked and they would make a terrible edge on a um, on a journal, inside of a journal. Squishing some under the sides there. Okay, I'm going to have to flip it this way. Always start at the center and work your way back. Now we may have to secure these with the bulldog clips 
I really don't know yet. It's kind of sticky because of the um, Mod Podge. Okay, let's get this other side. It's um, a little bit heavy where the threads are zigzagging across there. And those don't look like they want to stay down as well. But once it dries, it'll be fine. Okay, now I need my bone folder. You're still going to have to turn these little corners in as best as you can. Um, otherwise, you're going to have you're going to have a little piece that sticks out right there. And I don't know if I cut these at the right area or not. So it might not uh, <laughs> might not be a nice corner like I would usually like to have, but we'll fix that. We have our ways. All right, here we go. Folding it over, starting at the center. And work your way to the sides and just kind of work with your corners there. That one kind of tucked in a little bit. That's okay though because we'll probably use a maybe a corner metal corner thing on it. We'll see. I had such a heck of a time with those last time and I don't think I've bought any more of the Tim Holtz. Um, I don't think I bought any more of the Tim Holtz corner uh, metal pieces. Okay, flipping it over this way. get under all these pieces that really aren't glued down and kind of give them some glue there. Yeah, you can see that corner did not do well. Let's see. Fold it in a little more. Just the way I cut it was wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. So there we go. There's that part. This is what this side looks like. No Mod Podge. I'm debating whether or not to Mod Podge it. But now we need to think about the insides here. How are we going to do that? 
Let's see what paper we have. We have this. Oh, you know, that would almost fit perfect in there, wouldn't it? Not quite, but almost. I wonder if I could use it. I think so. I think so. I think so. Although it would look better if it went all the way to the edge, wouldn't it? So I think what I'll do is cut this in half. So that would be... Um, let me cut that top piece off. It's in the way. Another piece of stuff. So they're 12 inches. Six, six is 12. Okay. So we have this piece here. And this piece here like this and then I think what we'll do is put a piece of fabric in this center part right here. Do we want fabric inside? I really don't want to use the tape because it's so seeable. grab this. I was thinking about this. I know that's too big. So our center is right about there. Our center's right about there. And it is going to kind of bunch up here and there because um, because 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 of the wonderful thing she does. Um, nope, that's not why. Because it's all sewn and it has glue all over it and it's messy. I forgot to leave the pin in so that would go up faster. Here we go. I'm going to put that down the sides and across the top and then down the sides, across the bottom. Part. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Okay, this is the front. I'm just going to mark a T right here for top and a T over here for top so I don't mess it up. It's going to go there. Two, what do you think, right about there? Better cut them both at the same time. If I can figure out where my mark is, there it is. Look, more pieces. Okay. So I'm going to use this and then I'm going to use some uh, fabric glue as well. Hope I kept it turned over. This is supposed to adhere to fabric. Oh, I forgot to check it. Oh, it just fits. Boy, that was lucky. Might have to come back and pick up this side a little bit more with um, the three-in-one or the whatever you call it, sewing glue or... What a wonderful noise. Yeah. Cool. When the glue has little strings on it, it makes some um, trails. <laughs> Not quite as nice as it should. Oh, sorry if I'm out of camera. It's always hard to get really close to the edge. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, anyway. Oh, get back on there. Yes, yes, just like that. Don't argue with me. Just do as you're told. Oh, this side is... Well, I should have known. You know, envelopes are not square.
it seems like they should be. It seems like the machine would cut one end the same as it cuts the other. But they never are. You can see this side is bigger because this piece is exactly the same size as that piece. Okay. So there is our sewing, crazy quilt sewing journal cover. But I think I better let it dry before I go bending it around because we don't want it to all flop up. What do you think? That's going to be cool. And we'll tie it with something orange, I'm sure. Yeah, you can see that's coming up. Definitely looks like a one signature journal. So that answers that question for me, doesn't it? Oops. There we go. There's that one. That's a lot better. Let's have a look at this one. These work better, these glues, if you keep them filled. But who has time to fill their glue when they're crafting? <laughs> Crazy concept, huh? I thought that the little glue elves come in and did that. You know, like the little elf and the shoemaker. That's old story. Oh, well. I do catch up on my glue every now and then. And clean the nibs and everything else. Cool. I like it. I do, I do, I do, I do. No. Maybe this scissor. We'll try it. If not, I'll have to get my actual sewing scissors. Oh yeah, clip off some of the book and Rough it up a little bit. Nice. That is really cool. I like it. The reason I'm not grabbing my fabric scissors is because I don't want them to get gluey. <laughs> so I'm roughing it with these good old crafty ones I use. Don't mind some fraying down there. Okay, well, that brings us to the front cover. What are we going to do on the front cover? We still have this big pumpkin. It's a big pumpkin, Charlie Brown.
That would have made a great pocket right there, wouldn't it? May still do that. Doesn't have to be on this one. It could be on the other one. Um, you're my pumpkin spice. My pumpkin spice everything. Happy fall, y'all. That's a good one. Let's see what else we have. I don't know if there's much left in here. I've pretty much used it in the books. A fallen leaf is more nothing more than summer waving goodbye. Now that might be good. Look at that. That kind of takes away from our front cover that we did though, didn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Talked me out of that one. But what if we took one of the Happy fall, you all. Just a second. Let me cut that out. Unless I have one that's all cut out over here. Farm fresh pumpkins. Autumn days are here again. That one's a good one also. Oh, I think I like that one better. Okay. So if we take that and we back it with something like this so that it kind of stands out a little bit. Or what else could we back it with? Nope. I think it needs to be like this one. Or it could be this. No. I don't think that either. How about this? No. I don't think that either. Look at these are a little bigger. The beauty of fall. Amazing autumn days. Now that one, the nice thing about this one is that it's a totally different color than what I have on the front other than, well, it would run into that, wouldn't it? Crisp autumn days. Okay, well, fall into autumn. And then we have fall breeze and autumn leaves. That's a pretty one. And then we have this one. Let's cut those two out and see what we end up with. like that one best. Okay. Let's look at the backs. What's on the back of that one? Orange. I'm running out of paper, guys. Um, 
<laughs> it brings me back to this one, doesn't it? Or that might be better. So there and there. Let me cut that off. I think we need to scallop it. I should have scalloped these two together because sometimes they're off just slightly and you can really tell the difference. Okay, well, I think we will use that, but we won't put it on until everything's dry. Cool. What do you think? Okay, well, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for checking back with me to see how the cover turned out. And I will talk to you later. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye for now.